Hi, my name is Ed Winslow from uh, NicheQuest.com and in this video I'm going to talk about how to promote your furnished office and co-working business center uh, and dominate your local market with Google Search, Google My Business and Maps. So before I start uh, we, have, we've, we have a client in New York City that's in a luxury design build service and we were able to generate for them over a hundred thousand views on their Google My Business and Maps account. That's not including their website traffic. This is just Google My Business and Maps. And I call this the 100K GMB breakthrough. Uh, very, very significant. I'm going to talk to you about how we did it, some of the key things that you need to uh, keep be aware of when you're implementing an online uh, strategy and what I'm going to talk about is keywords, your website, Google My Business and Maps, and then I'm going to talk to you about the key driver of the entire strategy which is the our 100k GMB media package. So here, here's an actual result from this an, uh, NYC based luxury design build service. You can see 104,000 views in a 30-day period. Here's a sample of a Google My Business account. This is for Go Co Cogent Realty Advisors, who is a commercial office leasing agency in New York City. And what's interesting is that you can see that right at the very top, Google's featuring the map. You know, in, in New York City, people are searching for specific areas. Hyper local marketing is really the key in New York City. And I don't think that that many businesses really know how to capitalize on this and that's what we're going to talk about today. So in the middle here you can see where it says NAP that's name address phone number. NAP data is a critical part of the optimization strategy on Google My Business and also I just want to mention that you know the reviews are part reviews Google reviews are part of your Google My Business account. Uh, if you were to click over to Maps uh, from Cogent, this is what you'd see. Okay, and you can see how Google features business names and different landmarks. Uh, so first, I'm going to start out and I'm going to talk to you about keywords and I'm going to show you the keywords that I quickly put together for to go over uh, seven categories that we look at for each strategy. And we start out with keywords that relate to services, benefits, descriptive words, qualifier words, words like for, like co-working space for architects near Union Square, that kind of thing. A um, little bit about price. Price is always a key thing to throw in there, part of your strategy because everybody's looking for, for price. And then number seven, which is geography, which is really the key to the hyper-local strategy here, and it's the key to how we generated over 100,000 views in a 30-day period. So keywords that relate to services, here's a list. Furnished offices, co-working, managed suites, and then you know, and you can go through the list. Business lounge, event space, that kind of thing. Uh, keywords relate to benefits. These are really categories. Low startup that relates to price. Uh, address really relates to geographics um, and a few other categories. Descriptive words, office space, workspaces, flexible memberships, ready to go, month to month, interim. These are really, these are all keywords that people are searching for, and there's many more. And then you've got your geographic terms, as I mentioned. You know, G New York City is, is a hyper local, uh, there's how many, there's hundreds of uh, neighborhoods within New York City. And there are, there's, there's a lot of business in even small little markets. Uh, I come from the real estate business and I, uh, I know the value of the neighborhoods and how much and how people gravitate to certain neighborhoods. And um, so websites, I'm uh, going to just run through. Here's 10 quick things I just want to go over about websites. And it, strategy should always start with your keywords. Keywords are the core of your entire online strategy. You're going to use the keywords that I'm talking about here, not only within your website and your Google My Business,
but when you optimize photos and videos and uh, even Facebook pages and even um, your, your YouTube videos everything the core of the internet is keywords and people search thousands of different ways for every single business so we start with keywords website pages need to be built around keywords They're, your pages should be very easy to scan very easy to read uh, title and meta description I'm going to show you an example of title and meta description in a minute and I'm going to uh, oh, mobile first design we always when we build websites we start with mobile first and we build towards desktop we don't start with a desktop strategy and build and hope that it looks good on mobile because everybody's on mobile today location pages very very key to your strategy image galleries uh, I suggest creating an image gallery people love images they love galleries and what I would do is I would take photos starting from the entrance of your building take a picture of start with a picture of your building the entrance of your building the lobby the elevators uh, if there's a directory listing of businesses your reception area when you get out of the elevator and then all the other corresponding images conference rooms reception areas offices views uh, use your mobile phone with your geographic settings turned on for your photos there each photo with when you have your geographic settings turned on it includes your your images are going to have a latitude and longitude longitude setting Google's going to pick up on the latitude and longitude so don't use stock photos and make sure those geographic settings are turned on this is part of your optimization strategy if you cover a 10 if your primary market is reaching a 10 block radius you want to take pictures of as many properties as you can within that 10 block radius and use them in your on your website use them as you can upload those photos to your Google my business account as well schema code helps enhance your Google listings and it helps it's a, another signal to Google about what your business is about and where it's located and then Google Maps good idea to put a Google Map embed, embedded onto the footer of your site it's just another gr a very effective Google signal okay uh, real quick on Google my business and maps uh, name address phone number is part of your optimization with Google my business and you want your name address and phone number to be consistent with your Google my business account so if you put when, when you put your name address phone near your napped out on your website make sure it's exactly the same as it is on your Google my business account down to the comma you're gonna use your map data nap data everywhere the bigger the more places that your name address and phone number can appear the more exposure you're gonna have on Google uh, your info category within your Google my business dashboard uh, you want to create a keyword and geographic rich Google my business description remember that keywords are triggers and signals you want to use them whenever possible do not waste words if you can uh, interior photos for your Google my business include photos with door signs of your business uh, directories as many photos as you can that show that you're a real business there's a lot of fake accounts out there and Google is a robot they're just crawling through your 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 data uh, the more real photos that you have the better same thing with exterior photos exterior photos of your building neighborhood photos uh, with your Google my business account you get a free website use it it's free it's another great signal uh, that can be used as part of your strategy and then as I mentioned uh, reviews are part of your Google my business uh, platform okay so uh, let me switch over to Google for one second okay so uh, just here we are at Google now and I want to show you 
if we do a search for co-working space with conference rooms near Union Square, this is how people search. They search very deep and they're getting deeper and deeper all the time as the quality of content gets better. So if you look here, okay, so you can see that this is a pretty decent search uh, because Google does feature a, an ad. Here's your Google My Business account right here. Your, they call it the Google 3-pack. And you can see Mission 50, J Suites, and Tech Space Union Square. Tech Space ranks number one, Space Space number two, B Wake number three, and so on down the list here. Okay. Um, this here is what you call your title tag. This is your meta description. Every page needs to have a unique title tag and meta description that is relevant to your page content. Now, if you do, if we do a search here, and let's get rid of Union Square, and let's let's go with Gramercy Park, okay. And you're going to see, okay, so Mission 50 is ranking, but now you've got SpaceWorks, you got Instant Offices, you got Liquid Space, WeWork. You know, the this the ones who are ranking for Union Square are not ranking for Gramercy, even though it's nearby. Okay, they're missing out on the geographic opportunity here. Okay, so let's try really close to Union Square and Gramercy as Nomad, and let's see what we get here. Okay, again, now we're getting completely different results. And you're getting, even down here, you're getting different results. So my point being is that this geographic optimization is something that these sites are, are missing out on. This is what has been extremely effective with the strategy that I'm talking about here and how we created 100,000 views per month for a Google My Business account. So here we are, the, the 100K GMB, the way we generate generated all this traffic, really the, the, the fuel behind this is our what we call our media strategy, where we create articles every month, very keyword rich, in-depth articles that are submitted to news sites on a monthly basis, sites like USA Today, ABC. These are picked up frequently by Google News and many other media type of sites. Uh, we submit, we create articles, we submit them to high authority blogs, we turn the articles into videos and slide shares. We also create Web 2.0 networks, which is a network of different uh, Web 2.0 sites. And this is really the juice that drives the uh, this all this traffic the 100k GMB breakthrough these are the kind of uh, here's here's some of the banners from different sites that uh, we end up on with these articles here's a sample of an article that was picked up by ABC uh, for cogent realty advisors this is what the network this is what the 100k GMB network looks like articles, videos, slideshows, audios, blogs, social sites. And, you know, finally, if this is something that you find interesting that could help you, that you would like to implement for your business, uh, you can visit us over at nichequest.com. Uh, we post a lot of resources to help you grow your business. We create case studies, new business opportunities, ways to increase your profits with mobile and voice search. We're really on the trying to stay on the cutting edge of all the new changes and how to capitalize on them. Talk a lot about different niche strategies that you could take advantage of and how you can use this keyword research from Google as part of your Facebook strategy as well. And your, your messages on uh, and your postings on Facebook or LinkedIn and YouTube. So that wraps it up. I'm Ed Winslow from nichequest.com. And I hope you found this valuable. Hope to talk to you.